In the last video, I talked about the controls of a Hammond organ, the draw bars, the Leslie, the vibrato, percussion, all of that. And I did it on this, the Roland VK7 behind me here. And it's a dedicated platform for Hammond, so every control is a sort of physical thing that you can vary over time. This is essential for playing organ on any recording, is that you have access to all of these functions. So what about the Vintage B3 on Logic then? How do you control that? Because you can do it with a mouse. If you look at the screen, you can, you know, you can sort of go over a draw bar and draw them out for your, for your sounds. There we are. But how do you do it from one of these. This is a Novation Launch Key 49. Well, the answer is we use Learn Mode on Logic, which actually allows you to assign buttons simply by touching them, and it will learn what you've done. So on the computer, we just go Command L, and it brings up a page which allows you then to sort your sounds out. So if we then click once on the Hammond again, just to make it live, Learn mode is a little blue button, and that means it's on. If it's grey, it means it's off, which you'll need in a minute in order to control everything. It's very easy to get very lost with this, so you've got to be quite careful. You can delete everything and start again, but that would be a shame. So I'm going to click the 16-foot drawbar, which is the one on the left-hand side. My Novation key station here has got nine sliders. That's the reason it's got nine, is because it's all based on the Hammond draw bars. So I'm just going to draw the first slider out, and you can see that the computer has learned this. That's fine. It's worth pulling it all the way out just to make sure that you've calibrated that slider as well. The next one in, there we go, there's the next slider, and I'm just going to do all of the other ones. It should recognise the position, but it's worth pushing it in and out a couple of times just to make sure. There we are. Great. So, now I'm going to switch Learn Mode off and start playing with the controls here. If I hadn't done that, it might have overwritten one of the controls. So you've just got to make sure, let's just test this first. So I'm going to push all the sliders back in, otherwise it will be a row. And I'm just going to play some notes. So far, so good. That's really good. We've got a complete handle on the draw bars real time using these physical sliders. That's great. Notice that the sliders work in exactly the same way as a Hammond. The seemingly minimum position is actually maximum because you're pulling the bar out in order to increase the volume. So we've got that. So I'm just going to just bring the first three out uh, just to test my other functions because we've got to sort out things like the Leslie speed, the percussion, all of that sort of thing. So I'm going to switch the learn mode button back on and then go back to the Hammond, just single click on this window so that it knows that I'm going to press a button on here in order to learn. So I want my, uh, let's have a look at the, the Leslie first. So what you can do is you can assign that to the modulation wheel. I don't know if you see that off camera, just this wheel here, the left hand wheel. I'm going to assign this to that. And there we go, you can see the little switch going from slow through break to fast. Slow is called Corral on a Hammond, fast is called Tremolo, and break is where the rotors actually stop moving inside your Leslie cabinet. So now I've got that, I'm just going to switch learn mode off again. I'm going to check that my draw bars are still okay. Yeah, they're all good. That's all fine. And then I'm just going to play a chord and play with the Leslie speed. <laughs> You've got masses going on here just with that. The amount of expression that you can have, absolutely brilliant. Now, I'm just going to go back into learn mode. I need to be able to switch the vibrato chorus scanner on and off, and that is simply a toggle switch. So I'm going to go into learn mode, go onto my Hammond once again, and click on the upper vibrato chorus. There is a second set of draw bars on here for the lower manual, but I've only got one here, and the principle is just getting started on this. 
So I'm going to click this switch, and then I'm going to click one of the buttons. I've got a button below the left-hand drawbar here. There we go. Now, the only trouble with this is that it's only on when you hold the button. Mm. There is a mode down here, mode scaled. What we need to do is to go to rotate. And that now, bizarrely, toggle doesn't work, it's rotate. So there we go, there's our vibrato chorus on or off. Just gonna come out of learn mode just to check that out. So far, so good. Okay, back into learn mode. I want to arrange my percussion switches now. Now, the percussion is a little chime that you get at the beginning of the sound, uh, which makes it cut through a mix. So I'm just going to go back into the Hammond, having switched learn mode back on, and I'm going to go to percussion on and off. I'm going to do that switch there. I've got the same issue there, so I'm just going to go to rotate. There we go. And then I'm going to go back into here, Go to rotate, there we go. Back into here, rotate, back into here, and rotate. And there we go. So I'm gonna come out of learn mode now because I've pretty much got everything I need. So let's just check whether that percussion works. Percussion is the little, as I said, the little chime that happens at the beginning of a note. Nothing there. So far, so good. Okay, so that's percussion on and off. I can decide the harmonic. Whether it's fast and whether it's soft. There we are. You've set your keyboard up to control what is an amazing plugin. They're all really good. The Logic one is excellent. The, there's some uh, sort of aftermarket ones you can get, but you can do this and make it really work for you.